Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die? Would He devote that sacred head for such a word? As I at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now. I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can ne'er repay the debt of love I owe. Here, Lord, I give myself away tis all that I can do at the cross at the cross where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away it was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day and now I am happy all the day and now I am happy all the day Now I'm happy all the day. I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar, and this is From the Shepherd to the Sheep. On today's edition, we're giving you our take on At the Cross. It was written, of course, a long time ago. Isaac Watts and, uh, of course, placed to music uh, by Ralph Hudson. What a great, great song. But it recounts uh, an actual historic event that makes all the difference in your life and mine. I trust that that's the case today. In John chapter 19, verses 17 and 18, we read these words. And he, Jesus Christ, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two other with him, on either side one, and Jesus in the midst. It was a day to be remembered, never forgotten, in terms of the horrific death of our Savior, but also the tremendous price that was paid. It wasn't just one man dying between two thieves, but it was the God-man becoming the sacrifice and making all the difference for those who will call upon him and be saved the Bible way. In fact, the last phrase, I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. And that is the ideal for every person who's placed his or her trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Not religion, not good works, not ethics, not morals, but the person and the work, the finished work of Jesus Christ. I would challenge you today to receive Christ, I would challenge you who are saved to invite others to come to the cross today. And let's, uh, let's do that right now with heads bowed and eyes closed. If you've never ever received Jesus Christ as your Savior, He paid the sin debt for all your sins, past, present, and future. If you'll place your trust in Him right now, do so by this prayer, this faith prayer. Pray from your heart something like this. Dear God, 
I admit that I'm a sinner and I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me and right now I receive him into my heart as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. Now, if you've prayed that prayer and you truly meant it from the bottom of your heart, won't you let us know that you've received Christ? We'd love to rejoice with you today. And that you who are saved, let's continue to invite others to salvation. And then today, if you've been perhaps lagging, perhaps feeling a little down, you're a saved person, you're born again, you can look back to a time and a place when you know that you were saved, but you're just not feeling up to par, then right now, think about the cross. Think about the price that was paid. Think about all that the Lord intends for you and for me. And he purchased it all with this blood sacrifice. And thank him for the finished work that he rose from the dead. He's alive. He can meet your need. Lord, we thank you today that you can help the sick on beds of affliction in the hospitals and recuperating from illnesses and operations and procedures. Thank you, Lord, that you can raise the hopes, lift the spirits of those who are down because they have been uh, disappointed or disenfranchised with people or institutions or circumstances in life. Thank you that we can come to the cross today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It was there by faith I received my sight And now I am happy all the day God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.